Hello, Fruitport High School. Mr. Kobalak here coming at you for our next uh, distant learning lesson. So this lesson has a lot of review. So you have a little uh, data to collect at home, and then I want you to uh, graph the data and look for all the explanation, okay? So for the collection of data, I want you to make a T-chart. So I have my example of the T-chart here, and I want you to get five measurements of uh, things that uh, come in two different units, okay? So for instance, uh, I could do this. Uh, here is a can of Coke, and if I read the label, it says 12 fluid ounces, and it also says 355 milliliters. So if I wanted to, I could be like, okay, uh, a fluid ounce and a milliliter, and I put 12 and 355, okay? And so this would be one data point. I need four more to go. I want you to have a T-chart with five measurements. So maybe I could then go find four more containers that have both fluid ounces and milliliters on that, okay? But you don't have to do that one. Now you could do anything. Here's a ruler. I got a meter stick here. I could uh, measure five different things, like maybe I'll measure how big my hand is or how long the table is. And in one side, I'll measure in centimeters. Then I'll measure the exact same um, you know, length or distance again, but I'll use the inches side. And so instead of having ounces and milliliters, uh, I would have centimeters and inches. Okay? So that's uh, another thing you could do. Uh, Maybe you have a scale at home and you could weigh yourself and it tells you how many pounds you have. But maybe your scale has a button on the bottom that you can switch to kilograms and you can weigh yourself in pounds and weigh yourself in kilograms. And uh, then you would have one uh, data point and you have to do four more, weigh four different things on the scale. Uh, there, so I'm kind of being flexible because uh, I want some variety. Uh, here's a, a sack of beans I have. And on here it says two pounds and 907 grams. So I could put on the scale, I could be comparing pounds to grams. So I could put two pounds and I forgot how many, 907 grams, okay? And so if I could find four more things in the pantry that have pounds, Maybe you don't have pounds. Maybe instead it says ounces. Now there's a there's like a mass ounce and a fluid ounce. So maybe you can have an ounce. Uh, oh, that's on my bag too. 32 ounces of beans is the same as 907 grams of beans. So, uh, yeah. So there's another example. Maybe uh, here's a two liter, and it says two liters right here. And it also says 2.1 quarts. Maybe I can find five things that have liters and quarts. Okay, let me give you two more examples. Uh, I love it if someone could do a thermometer. If you have a thermometer that can measure Celsius and Fahrenheit, that'd be really cool to measure the temperature of five different things and both Celsius and Fahrenheit. Um, so, uh, there's one option. And one more option for you is you can maybe do miles and kilograms. Maybe I'll get on my computer and uh, I'm going to go on a road trip to Mackinac Island. And so I use Google Maps and it says Mackinac Island is this many miles away. And I, either in the settings or right next to it, it also tells you how many kilometers. So maybe I could be like, uh, okay, Mackinac Island is this many miles away and this many kilometers, and I'll put, fill in numbers. Well, maybe I want to do a road trip to a different Michigan place. Maybe I want to do a road trip from Fruitport to uh, Tiger Stadium to catch a game. So then I could put how many miles and how many kilometers it is to Tiger Stadium according to Google Maps. So I think you have an idea. It's really important that you collect data and bring it with you so we can uh, use this. So after you collect the data, I'm gonna ask you to make a graph. You don't have to use fancy graph paper, you can just sketch a graph. But I'm gonna ask you to do all the things good graphs have, that we, that's a review. So maybe a title, use the space wisely, things like that. And then the list gets harder. I'm gonna ask you to find the slope. You should have a, a best fit line. Can you find the slope of the line? Can you uh, 
Remember that slope has units. What would the units for your line be? And then can you get the equation of the line? Y equals MX plus B. Now it'd be really easy to say like, I forgot how to do that. And so then you just don't. But that's not the Fruitport way. That's not resiliency, right? We are Fruitport. So, so work hard. If you get a little bit stuck, you know, Try to get unstuck. Uh, if you work on this for 45 minutes and you're stuck, well, then, you know, get some help uh, or move on to the next thing. But uh, don't just take a 30 second. I, I don't get it. And so I'm just not going to do it because that's uh, that won't help. So the more you do at home, the easier it will be for you on class on Thursday. As always, just email me with any questions uh, and I'll see you next class.